Well, we are back. So I took some time off around the holidays just to be with family and kind of recharge and hit reset on things. Start planning for this year. There's gonna be some changes coming to the channel, which I'll discuss towards the end of the video. You wanna stick around for that. But today, we're starting the year off right with a really simple DIY. We're gonna be swapping out this Chrome 328i badge with a gloss black 340 badge. Let's do it. So the first thing that I'm gonna do here is just clean off the work area. It's been a minute since I washed my car and things are looking a little crusty back here. So just so that I'm not grinding all that dirt and crap into the paint as I'm working, I'm just gonna spray it off with some water, wipe it down and we'll get this started. So the tricky part about rebadging is going to be getting the new badge in the exact same position as the original one. Now there's probably a more scientific way of doing this, but I'm just going to use masking tape around the border of this. I'm going to make an outline. That way I can preserve the exact position where the original badge was. When we go to put the new one on, it's not going to be like crooked or off centered or something. It's going to be in the exact same spot. ASMR tape peeling. You like that? So just to give you a close up, I left a small margin around the edge. That way it's still in the right position, but the tape isn't gonna to be touching the logo where it's gonna be an issue when I go to scrape this thing off, which I'm about to show you. So to take the old badge off, I'm gonna be using the dental floss method, which reminds me I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. Um, I've also seen people use fishing line, that can work too. Just use whatever you've got. Uh, what you don't want to use is a pry tool like this. You can end up damaging the paint. You could maybe even dent the car a little bit, which you don't want. So set that aside. We're gonna use the dental floss. First, I'm gonna heat it up though with a hairdryer. It's 11 degrees outside today and it's actually pretty cold in here too, even though I've got my heater going. So uh, we're gonna warm this up and we're gonna use the floss to remove this. So to remove the rest of the adhesive, I'm gonna be using a product called Tar-X. Now this is specifically designed for removing tar and adhesive, and it's also specifically designed for cars. In the past, I've used products like Goo Gone and Dissolve It, but you've gotta be careful sometimes with some of those household products. Now that I've got a nicer car, I only wanna use stuff that's specifically designed for car paint. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put it on this towel. I'm going to blot it onto there rather than just spraying it because if I spray it, it's gonna drip onto the tape and then we'll lose our positioning. So let's give this a go and we'll see how it does. All right, so having removed the number three, what I can tell you so far is that the tar -X does work, but because it's like a foam adhesive, it kind of takes a little while for it to penetrate and really get the adhesive off. And it doesn't help that it's cold in here right now, and it doesn't help that this car is so new. I feel like when I did my uh, 330 a while ago, which was a 2006, I remember the numbers and everything just coming right off. But because this car is a 2017, the adhesive is still really tacky. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. Then we'll fast forward to putting the new badge on. Two hours later. Okay, now that I don't have fingertips, we're gonna use some degreaser to get the rest of that tar -X residue off. What do you think? Should I start an ASMR channel? All 
All right, so if you wanted to debadge your car, you're done, you can close out of this, but if you wanna put the new badge on, keep watching. Now I got this one on Amazon and I'll put a link to it down in the description below. Um, as far as I know, there's not like a genuine BMW black logo, like you can buy replacements for the chrome ones, but if you want black, it's gotta be aftermarket and this is just the one that I found. Now the cool thing about this is um, it's got this adhesive layer on the front as well. That way when you peel the backing off, um, it's supposed to keep the letters or the numbers rather aligned. So I'll let you know in a minute how well that works, but yeah, let's start putting this on. That actually worked better than I expected. Now, before I go ahead and mash these on, I'm just going to check it with a ruler, make sure that it's all level and straight. Now, one thing that I noticed about this kit that I got is the spacing was a little bit different from the stock one. You can see there's a little bit more space on this side now. Even though the numbers are exactly the same size, they're just spaced a little bit differently. And rather than trying to manually adjust each one, and risking them get all wonky and all, you know, kind of at an angle or something. I just kept with what was on the sheet. Now it's your car, you can do this however you decide. That's just the way that I decided to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and press these in. I'm gonna warm them up with the hair dryer to sort of activate that adhesive on the back and we should be good to go. So what I didn't realize while I was filming this and my friend Austin pointed out to me um, after it was already too late is the kerning on the letter I was a little bit too tight and that's why um, it's kind of condensed more than it should be. Oh! Um, personally, I'm not gonna lose sleep over it, but in case you get these same ones and they're spaced that way in the sheet, just know that the letter I is gonna have more space between the I and the zero. Well, there you have it guys, a nice, simple and affordable mod to start out the new year. This is something that I think that anybody can do at home. It's really not too hard. And uh, like I said, I'm gonna link it below on Amazon. I think it was like $18 or something like that. Really not too bad. And uh, this video brought me back to my early days of YouTube when stuff like this is like all I could afford to do. But you know what? Sometimes the easiest projects make for the best DIY videos. So give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below if you're going to tackle this at home. In the past year, I recognized that the DIYs have become more advanced and more complicated, and it was honestly refreshing to do something simple like this again. As creators, sometimes we get in our own head in terms of content, thinking that each video that we put out has to outdo the last one. And for me, that's been something that I've struggled with a lot lately. Sometimes I overthink it to the point where I end up not uploading at all, which is something that I never wanted. For people who have been doing YouTube for a long time, we can hear the negative comments in our head before we even start. Even a video like this, I'm thinking, really dude, did we really need a 10 minute explanation for how to put a sticker on a car? Or FRS videos, I thought this was a BMW channel, I'm unsubscribing. As much as we like to think that negative comments don't bother us, I think subconsciously we internalize them and they can shape our content without us even knowing. Maybe it causes us to play it safe in an attempt to please everyone. But this year, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to make content that I want and try not to be so consumed by analytics and performance. If anything, that'll mean even more uploads and more content. Let's make 2022 our best year yet. So to get the rest of this adhesive off, I'm going to be using a product called Car X. Car X, wouldn't that be funny? You spray it on and your car just disappears. 